be prepared to talk about yourself a lot when you first go inside. Like when you first go to prison, you're going to have lots of enemy ask you, what was your crime? You know, and you're going to have to explain to almost every single person. Like, you know, it's human nature to love talking about yourself but it gets to the point of where like explaining your crime over and over and over again just gets really tiring you know and eventually if you're smart about it you'll learn the mastery of shortening it up but sometimes you don't want to leave any details out right because what you say to one person has to match up to what you say to the other otherwise people are just going to think that you're trying to hide something so sometimes maybe it is best that you explain the full story of your crime, right? Because people are going to want to know. They like investigating because prisons have the, what's it called? The habit of throwing people inside general population that should not be there. That's why inmates want to know what you're in for, right? And so if your story doesn't match up, then... They're going to think that you're some sort of snitch, sex offender, or whatever. You, they're going to think that you have something to hide. And it's kind of funny, too, because what's called um, most most uh, sex offenders, right? They have the bad habit of saying that they're in there for, like, fraud, you know? At least in Drumheller. That's what my buddy said. So, yeah. If you're actually going in for fraud, then... Uh, just be prepared to explain yourself because people may assume that you're that you're a sex offender because you said you were in there for fraud, especially if you're like an old man, right? Even in prison, people still judge you by your parents. So if you look like a sex offender, people are going to assume you're a sex offender. But it doesn't mean they're going to beat you up right away, right? Because prison, when people think of prison... They think that it's just like some animal kingdom, you know, survival of the fittest. And in a way it is, but people also like to make sure that, you know, you are what you are before they do something to you or if they don't do something to you at all. Like there was an incident where this one guy I met on um, this, on the, what's it called? Correctional Service Canada van, right? Because we were being transported back to Edmonton together. I was going back there because I had court and before we left Drumheller, one, they dropped some people off, right? Like new inmates. And one of the Asian guys inside the van said, Hey, you know, that older Asian gentleman that got off and like, yeah, well, he's a snitch. So be careful. Right. So when I went back to Drumheller a week after, because I was stuck in Edmonton waiting for court and stuff, I told people what that guy told me that that old asian man is apparently a snitch so what happened next is that the inmates went to investigating they asked him lots of questions and it turns out he wasn't a snitch in fact that guy who told me he was a snitch was the actual snitch so it just goes to show that you know we actually want evidence before we do something to you, right?